Hello and good morning. And it is a blustery one out there. Now I'm heading off fishing. I'm gonna do three, four hours. And I'm going to the east coast of Kent. I'm going Deal area. Uh, that's because the wind is coming from the southwest and it is pretty beasty today. It's probably gusting 40 miles an hour. So I don't want to be fishing into that. It's very uncomfortable. So that rules out Dungeness, High there be coming across me. Folkestone coming across me. There's not many sheltered spots on the south coast. So I'm going to Deal area where it's hopefully going to be coming from behind, over the cliffs that are behind me, and nice flat sea, making fishing conditions quite comfortable. So, I would always just bear in mind the wind when you're gonna plan a fishing trip. I mean, I've got Windy app, there's also Wing Guru that you can use, and I think you could fish, if you wanna fish into a beasty sea, I would do it up to sort of 20 miles an hour but anything more than that is going to become very difficult to fish in you've got to be pretty hardcore to be doing that so i would then just look for spots where you've got the wind coming from behind and get a bit of extra distance on your cast and also nice quiet sea so let's get on down to deal fingers crossed the sea is quiet and calm and we get a spot of fishing in well so the first stop, which I thought I was going to fish here, is Kingsdown. But look at that sea going from right to left, very rapidly. The wind's coming around the corner. Um, seagulls working there. But um, I can feel the wind here and I'm right underneath the cliff. Out on the beach, it is blowing. So I'm not going to fish here. I'm going to go find somewhere else. This is going to be uncomfortable. Now this looks better. I think we're going to try on Deal Pier. So I'm going to get onto the pier and try and fish northwards with the flow. See if we can get some fish. So let's have a look at where Deal is on the map. So there we have the UK. Now Deal is down in the county of Kent, which is right down in the southeast corner here. There's a place marker there. And as you can see with Kent, it's got a north coast, an east coast, and a south coast. The only thing it hasn't got is a west coast. So easterly winds, strong easterly winds, make it very difficult to fish. So we'll go over and see where Deal is, which is just here where the place marker is. And as we zoom in, You'll see the black lines, they are the shipping lanes for Dover. So Dover is a main port, which you'll see just down there. And you'll see that that's on the south. And Deal is up on the east coast. We've just swung it around a bit. So then what we're going to do, we're going to show you where Deal Pier is. Zoom in here. And Deal Pier is right on the front. It's on Beach Street in the cent centre of, of Deal, basically. And the train station is just at the back there. And then the car park that you want to be parking in for the pier is just above it. And we'll zoom down to it here. There's the car park. Uh, it's not a very big car park. Um, but if you're getting there early to fish, you should be able to park okay. There is parking along the street, but uh, not much. Now when you go over to the pier, walk down to the pier, there's channel angling which is right on the front of the pier where you can get a bit of bait and any essential tackle that you want and then opposite channel angling is where you buy the tickets for fishing now I'll put a link to the page where you can find the prices of the rod tickets and that will show you the summer prices and the winter prices <laughs> with concessions and everything like that now the last thing to show you is where I fished so where I fished was right at the end of the pier you can fish anywhere along it but I went onto the lower platform and I fished north and there we have it that is deal and deal pier let's get back to the fishing right so there we go two rods bought onto the pier um, six pound twenty a rod and you get to about six o'clock as the young lady said so 
I'm only going to do about four hours. That's all I need. So let's go and get some fish. Right, so in front of me here on the light of the two rods, which is my Sonic, I am putting a two-hook flapper. So this two-hook flapper, well, it's a two-hook clip rig. That is going with a 170. And we're gonna put that now onto my Sonic. And this is the last outing for all these rigs. New Year. A new rig wallet, I'm going to build a whole new set of rigs for everything. So, this will be this rig's last trip and my next rig's last trip. So, there we are. We've got a two at clip rig on here. I'm going to get some worms on that in a minute. And then on the other rod, I want to present a squid bait. Maybe a squid cocktail. It might just be a plain squid. I haven't worked it out yet. But I've got that on a pulley with two four O's on on the hook snood so and that's about two foot long that hook snood so uh there we go clip that on now let's get baited up right so this is what i've got for the big rod i've got a squid and a couple of razor clams there um i'm gonna bait elastic that together first so i'm just gonna pinch the top of it all together let it hang down and then get that straight like so and I'm going to put what I'm going to do is while I'm bait elastic in this I'm going to put half the bait elastic I want because then I will mount it on the hook just try and tuck that head under keeping that straight need to find another elastic because this is quite thick I'm going to take this hook in and back out do the head keeping that straight there we go keeping that line straight up the bait and then as I come to the top bring down the uh, sliding hook and go the opposite side in the bait back out like so slide the green silicon down over the eye hold it in place and there we have it a squid and razor cocktail and voila that is ready to go out Right, I hope you can hear this because I haven't got my wind mic, but there's the first rod set up. The first rod is my Any Fish Anywhere 6 and bait, and I'm going to swap these over in a minute, to be honest. Um, this is going on the right, and the other one's going on the left. This is baited up now. I've got that coming down to a pulley rig here, and you've just seen me bait that up with the squid and the razor clam. That's going to go out now. I'm going to put that out. And then on the second rod, I've got my Sonic Gravity. Sonic Gravity with a 
32 kilo leader that's coming down to a two hook clip rig which i'm going to just put worm tip with squid and get that out also so let's get the first one out and then we'll bake this one out get that out as well There we go. Worm tip squid clipped into place. Ready to cast. So let's get this out. I'm gonna go into the reach a little bit with this. Let's go. There we go. See you later. Well, we have a bite on the big rod. Unfortunately, the little one cracked off as I cast. So I'm going to reset that up now. I'm going to keep an eye on the big one. Though. Oh, yes. Nice bite on that. Oh, I don't know what this is. Nice bite on it though. Slack line. Come on, what are you doing? There's some really nice ball downs just now. This time we got it. We've got it. Whatever it is, a bit of weight to it. It has got a bit of weight to it. This has. Is this a ray? Have I got a ray on this? It's got a fair bit of weight on this. A lot of weight on this. What is this? What is this? Oh, not that bad at all. It's just a dogfish. <laughs> what I thought. Is it a good one? Oh, it's half decent. There we go. Mr. Dogfish. Just, just caught on the, uh, just on the edge there. We should be able to just get that out. Mr. Dogfish, very nice. That's a spotted dogfish. Let's keep him for dinner. Here we go, same bait going back on the hook. Just got myself a dogfish. Now I don't care about catching dogfish, I'm quite happy doing it. Um, they taste nice. And um, better than blanking. So I am just gonna bait elastic this back on. Squid razor. And we'll get this back out. See if we can get some more. There we are, that's the key to it. 
Nice and straight bait, good presentation. Just putting that on that hook, just to stop that sliding. There we are. It's not a massive bait. Big white and we'll take that. Obviously dogfish, ray, and hopefully a codling if they're about, but I'm not coming here hoping. All right, there we go. So I've come back to get my second rig back onto this second rod that snapped off and it's been a minute and we got bites again on the big rod so maybe nice shoulder dogfish down there there it is bouncing away i'm going to leave that a little bit till it gets into the bait let's get this hooked on i'm putting on a loop rig this time i've changed my mind i'm going to actually fish this rod into the shoreline a little bit see if we can get or find any dabs or flatfish so let's get a weight on that we'll get this baited up and we're keeping on the other rod right loop rig let's get this out let's hope this doesn't go again i will be fuming i'm gonna go into the bay this way down there and voila right so we've got a loop rig out for some flatties hopefully and we've got dogfish on the other one, I think, again. is what I was after but it's tiny but it is the target species and I've got a bite on the other one so there we go target species lovely little dab a bit too small can't keep him but they're out there there we go a palm size dab Well, one of my palms anyway. Beautiful little fish. We're gonna get him back in off the side now. And let's see if there's some bigger ones. Right, another loop rig. Bait it up dangling down there let's get him out let's see if there's bigger dabs about that would be nice wouldn't it there we go there we go well i'm i'm on the phone to you and i've got the gopro going and i think i've lost it so i'm gonna blame you pete um, let's see. It's a bit blowy here, mate. Deal pier. Le oh, I've lost it, mate. I've lost it. It's your fault. Mate, your fault. That's what I'm blaming you. I lost it. It was an amazing bite. I think it might have been a bluefin tuna. <laughs> there was a hundred pound shark. Bro. 
Yeah, I'll never know because you lost me the fish. Well, thanks to my mate, Pete Baker, being on the phone and wouldn't get off it. So inconsiderate. I lost a good fish. That was quite a, quite a good tug down on that rod. Anyway, rebaited. The um, squid has gone a bit quiet, although that did bounce just now when I was on the phone, but it was only a couple of bounces and then it's gone quiet again. Um, let's get this back out. This weather is hideous. It's clearing over there and it's raining here. And what's that we got flying through? Oh! Let's have a look. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There it is. Yes. We have something on here. That's quite weighty, that is. Is there a dogfish on here? A little weight to this. Might be a dogfish. Let's see. Bit of weight to this. What is it? Comes on the surface. What is it? I see. Is it caught up? Is this why? <laughs> and a dab. All right, let's sort that out. So, what we've got is a velvet swimming crab here. He's uh, there, lovely velvet swimming crab. Look at that. Let's get him back. And we have got oh, a very, very tiny very tiny dab. There he is. Lovely. Let's get this dab back. Time. I think there's another dog eat. Oh, he's pulling in. <laughs> I think he's come off. Has he come off? He's come off. Wow. Someone just had a go at that. He's come off. Wow, that pulled in. And it's just come off. I don't know, that was a doggy. That was not a doggy. Wow. Right. Hmm. I really pulled down then. Right, fresh bait on. I wonder if something snatched a decent whiting off that. Well, let's get another bait out, see if we can uh, find out what's going on. Thank you. 
or maybe not. This might be the last cast, I think. I've only done the... Oh, there might be something on here. No, I think it might have come off. What is it? Every now and again I get a feeling like there's a fish on here. Yeah, there's nothing. <laughs> oh, there is it. Yeah, there is. There's a fish. What is it? A whiting or a pelting. Oh, we've got a big whiting there. Well, there we are. We've had a dogfish. We've had some dabs and a whiting. We'll keep him. He's easily big enough. Another fish. I think I missed it again. And this is the last chance because I've got to go. I've got things to do today. Quick little session. Cute fish. Yep, missed fish again. Well, this one's coming in now. We'll give the other one five minutes. And let's hope we get a bite. Right, that's it, that's the end of my session. I'm out of the wind now, I couldn't really do it from out on the pier, but I'm out of the wind now. It's two hours, I've had things crop up, I've got to do them. Um, so it's cost me a lot of money, parking and the pier. But I had a lot of bites and quite a few fish. Now this car park is just to the north of the pier, just so you know, and it's Beach Street Car Park. So let's have a look, I'll show you it there. There it is, Beach Street Car Park, and it's on Ringo, and it's 3803. So that's it for this video, little short session. Until next time, tight lines.